don't know there's one up in here because he I missed him. There he is. Yep. Where the hell did he go? Oh, you got him. Good deal. Put some water in there. I'll get some muddy quick. <laughs> that one. Try this big rock and see what's under it. There comes one. Here I go one. Get in there, get him. Here, here's one. Oh, he got look at him. <laughs> Piece of fire out of him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, I'm gonna drop this one right there. Run on that rock pile. Yeah, there's a couple of them somewhere. Give it at least. Here's our bait we're using today. Pretty little crawdads. The way Roger tells me to hook them up, you hook them on the bottom of the tail. Put it right there where the little flipper is on the tail. See them Kentucky bass just love them. We'll see. Oh yeah. Boy, he hit it hard. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. He'll be a good one in the skillet. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Good little Kentucky. You can tell he's a Kentucky by that patch, little tooth patch on his tongue right there. Pretty fish, pretty fish. That's a good one. Oh yeah, I got him off that stump right there. That's a good one. Y'all just vertically fishing that stump. <laughs> yes sir. Another nice one. <laughs> He'll go in the cooler. Y'all were just barely, barely decent digging that stump, Roger. That's a nice one. They, they got a pile of meat on them. I don't know what it is. He's a good one, whatever it is. Get your line in. Oh! oh. <laughs> I don't think he's catching it. I mean, I don't think he's a... Man, I didn't catch it. It is. No, it's bad. Oh, hey. That's a good one. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you done all right. Oh, is it? Uh, oh, yeah, he's a good one. Uh, oh, yeah. Missing that. There he comes. Now we got him. There you go. Good deal. He's not as nice as I thought, but he's. He'll make a sandwich. He has. I just he will. <laughs> I don't see the. Oh, there are. Anyway, that place had. You know, they had big 40 horsepower Yamaha motors and we stayed in the cabin and yeah, it was really nice. I guarantee it was. And uh, they had bear hunting there. A little Kentucky. A little Kentucky, yep. That's about the size of that other one, wasn't it? He'll grow up. Here he goes. Yeah. 
Yep, we'll get his mama next. I'm gonna turn this fish loose. There's something on him. Don't know what it is. Maybe it'll get better. There you go. Oh, looks like Roger caught him a little. That is a little. Yes, sir. <laughs> Pretty though, isn't he? Yeah, a little black bass, ain't he? No, he's Kentucky. Isn't he? Yeah. We'll be there next time. <laughs> that Kentucky bass is getting done. And it's looking good. Boy, look at that. Yes, sir. That's going to be nice right there. Yes, sir. Well, I wish y'all were here eating with me. Nah, ain't going to be enough wallows. So I'll get to eat it all. Guarantee that. <laughs> Boy, look how flaky white that what meat is. Mmm, that's gonna be good. Mmm. That's real nice. If you ain't never ate a Kentucky bass, you're missing out. Go catch you some crawdads. Go catch you some Kentucky bass. They're pretty good eating. Wow. It's October 22nd, and we had pretty good luck on the lake today. We caught several Kentucky bass on crawdads, and we ended up doing some crappie fishing too. We caught the crappie on minnows. We used the same rig as for the crappies we did for the Kentucky bass. The only difference was we used crawdads for the Kentucky bass, and we fished it just like you would a plastic worm. Just throw it up toward the bank and just pull it back real slow. Well, they would hit just like a regular bass would. And that's when you would let them take it, start running with it, and you would set the hook on them. Had pretty good luck. Caught several other small ones we turned loose. Well, I'm looking forward to going again. I'll catch some more crawdads before it gets too cold. <laughs>